Hello, search and rescue working group. This is just a quick note and video to show a couple of key workflows that uh, we've been testing out and to solicit some of your feedback. The first thing is as we move to a uh, more tactical or triage dashboard, I recognize, uh, and this came up in an exercise, a need to be able to filter by area, but also to be able to see what's going on around you. So an example might be, I might wanna see everything that's going on across an operation uh, or across the, the country. In this case, it could be the, uh, the entire country. If we zoom out, I've got all my numbers here in front of me. But if I'm focused on a particular area, in this case, we're going to use uh, Galveston, Texas. As an example, if this was my area of responsibility, I understand we could actually have this uh, sectorized or uh, gridded. I might want to see just what's going on there. And so this little select tool in operations dashboard can be set up to filter to just show the uh, the points that are in a particular area of interest. So that's something you may want to uh, look into. The second thing is uh, the difference between a tactical dashboard where we're trying to keep up with uh, items that need follow up and something like a summary dashboard that would be used uh, at a more high level for decision making. It's come up that uh, some teams would wanna be able to vet the data that shows up in a summary dashboard before stakeholders see it. In other words, we wanna make sure that everything we've marked here in the field actually happened before it goes to other stakeholders. And there's probably lots of different reasons and lots of different viewpoints for that. But from a technical perspective, we can do this in a few ways. Number one is, the data that goes into here, in this case, just the waypoints, has been filtered to only show uh, points that have uh, you know, a status of approved. What that means is somebody manually has to go in and approve those points before it shows up in a dashboard. And for some people, this might be the, the workflow they're looking for. Uh, first of all, uh, I think in, you know, on an individual basis, we've added in a field for looking at any uh, given waypoint. Let's just pick one here, this uh, structure, no damage. And there is a, uh, just a moment. Okay, sorry, I had to fix something. Uh, just as I was saying before, there's a field in here for uh, the points that allows you to assign a, an approval status. And they all default to blank right now. We can assign a default value of not yet approved. Um, but you could tag it as, you know, needs edit, uh, delete no longer needed, or delete editing mistake. These could be whatever categories you all choose. These are just the default ones we came up with. But if I say approved and click save, because I've vetted uh, that particular point, it should then eventually show up in my uh, in my dashboard. And I can see that now as a point. Um, now, imagine doing this for, you know, dozens or hundreds or even thousands of points that may not be very efficient. And let's say we've done, uh, we've had really good comms this whole time, we've done really good work on this, and everybody's went through and checked their own points. And we're really confident about this whole area. Uh, within this web app builder app, is a tool called Batch Attribute Editor. And what this allows us to do is, uh, again, we can select uh, our large area and select approval status as approved. And that means everything I see here will be approved. And that means it'll, it'll show up wherever, uh, wherever that filter has been set up. This is just one way this could work. Um, I wanted to show that as a proof of concept, get some feedback and alleviate probably uh, some of the concerns, especially from instant support teams on, you know, uh, can a vetting process be established? So I uh, look forward to hearing feedback from all of you. Uh, in the meantime, if this question comes up, feel free to show them this video. Not quite sure how uh, all the tech will be set up, particularly on, uh, on FEMA's platform, but this is just one option and uh, I hope this helps. Thanks everyone.